today we're taking a look at the type 4 secretion system. It is a secretion system that is used by both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. It is a secretion system that is involved in many different functions of the cell. It is involved in horizontal gene transfer and transfer of proteins or virulence factors to other cells and also involved in DNA uptake from the environment. This is a quick overview of the structure of the type 4 secretion system, but we will take a, a closer look at the structure a little later on in the video. Type 4 secretion system can be divided into three different groups, and we will take a closer look at all of them in this video. Conjugation is the transfer of DNA or genetic material from one bacteria to another. And transformation is the uptake of gene genetic material from the environment into the bacteria. And then lastly, protein transport it kind of explains itself. It's the transport of proteins from the intracellular space out into the either into the extracellular space or into another bacteria. Now before we get into any more details about the different types of type 4 secretion, let's take a closer look at the structure of the secretion complex. It is easy to understand that there needs to be different types of structures for the type for secretion complex because of the different um, functions that they have. But so far scientists have only been able to map out the structure of one of those substructures. And this specific structure is involved in protein transport. Now there are a lot of different proteins involved in this complex and we're not going to go into every single one of them but here is a quick overview of a few of proteins involved. And if you are extra interested in these proteins, you can take a look at the sources that I've listed below. This type 4 secretion complex is divided into three different bigger groups. In the bottom left, we have the cytoplasmic inner membrane complex with an anchor protein in green that kind of attaches this complex to the bacterial cell membrane. And in the middle we have the core complex that is attached to both the inner membrane and outer membrane and creates a pore structure where the protein can be transported through. And then lastly we have the pillus complex that transports the protein out into the extracellular space or into another bacteria or cell. Now let's take a look at conjugation. Conjugation as you remember is the process where the bacteria transfers genetic material to another bacteria. And during the process of conjugation the type 4 secretion system or the F pillus as it's also called when we're talking about conjugation, acts as a probe that kind of pokes out of the cell and grabs a hold of the neighboring cell and pulls it close to it. And after that the genetic material can be transported through it into the neighboring cell. But to be able to perform conjugation bacteria needs to have the TRA gene. The TRA gene codes for all the different components that is needed to perform conjugation, including the type 4 secretion system complex and the relaxosome, which we will take a closer look at later on in the video. The TRA gene is expressed as a result of certain stimuli. stimuli. It could be, for example, a signal from another bacteria through a system called curum sensing. 
anyway, this stimuli causes the bacteria to express the TRA gene and therefore causes the bacteria to transcribe the type 4 secretion system complex or the F pillus. Once the F pillus is uh, in its proper place in the cell membrane, the process of uh, conjugation can begin. First of all, the relaxosome enzyme will unwind the double stranded DNA plasmid. It will work similar to the DNA helicase that is involved in DNA replication. However, let's take a closer look at how this relaxosome works. The relaxosome has a DNA cutting function that will first cut the plasmid in two parts and then it will start to unwind it. And so now we have two single stranded parts of DNA that can then be transferred through the F pillus complex and transferred into the neighboring bacteria. Now the plasmid that is being transferred usually also contain the TRA gene so it gives the receiving bacteria the ability to to perform conjugation on its own. And lastly let's take a quick look at bacterial transformation. It is a simple thing to understand it's just the use of the type 4 secretion system to take up DNA from the surrounding environment. There have been some studies that show that the type 4 secretion system can be used for both single-stranded and double-stranded DNA uptake. However, these are mediated by two different protein complexes. And that was it for this video. I hope you learned something and subscribe and thank you.